Oh, hello. I'm Jay Jones. I'm eating fried rice in honor of our new leaders. This video brought to you by Communist Party. And uh, La Bitch Jame, La Bitch Jame, bow down. Bow down or be made into a new iPhone 11. Star Wars Rise of Skywalk in theaters December 20. <laughs> God, I just had a, a horrible nightmare. Oh, never mind, it's real. I just told you a little while ago, these leaders that they call leaders, this included Lena Horne, this included Dick Gregory, and this included comedians, comics, trumpet players, baseball players. Show me in the white community where a comedian is a white leader. Show me in the white community where a singer is a white leader, or a dancer or a trumpet player is a white leader. These aren't leaders. These are puppets and clowns that uh, have been set up over the white community and uh, over the black community by the white community and have been made celebrities and usually say exactly what uh, they know that the white man wants. Well, now we can say he's wrong because we know that LeBron James represents the evil Chinaman. And of course, we all love to vent on Twitter, which makes us all feel powerful. We're like, Twitter makes you feel like a Roman emperor watching gladiators. Hmm. I don't approve because this movie promotes rape. You know, when I tweet, which is pretty often nowadays, I have a general rule. It follows an acronym called FUTSAW. Fuck this shit and here's why. But the rest of Twitter gets all passive-aggressive. They don't really tell you how angry they are. They try to hide it in self-righteousness. <laughs> Maybe if people didn't... Then we wouldn't have... Kind of makes you... Look, this is a chicken pot pie recipe. The fuck are you saying? Let's just be honest, is that thought on Chatterbait not returning your love in Bitcoin? Chinese ownership of America, it's never been a conspiracy theory. I mean, if they own the companies that own our government, they're just one step away from running our Even government. Apple deleted the Taiwanese flag emoji because the Chinese government was offended by its very existence. You see so many examples every day, and La Bitch James is just the latest. <sighs> so I went to France, because that's what happens. When you drop out of college, you start drifting like an old newspaper. And I went to my homeland, Sicily. Uh, it's very different from the mainland of Italy. You go to Italy, everywhere you go, there are these street merchants. And they, they chase you down. They're selling these little animal trinkets, elephants on a string, and Mardi Gras beads and bracelets and all this dumb, kinky shit. You know, African shit. But they're not for sale. They come up to you on the street like, Mi amico, mi amico, my friend, my friend. And then he bestows these beads upon me. I give you gift from Senegal. I'm like, oh, this is this is really sweet. And it's like, you America? I'm just like, yeah. Oh, I go to America real soon. I was like, oh, okay, man. Thanks. You have a nice day now. And I depart with all these tokens of gratitude onto me. It felt like a king. Two minutes later, I'm down the street, and this same motherfucker is just lunging towards me. I thought maybe immigration was chasing him or some shit. Italian ice or some shit. But no, he's looking for me and he spots me. My friend, my friend, remember me? I'm like, oh, how could I forget? And then he pulls out his flip phone and he shows me a picture of his newborn son. He's starving, please. I need some money. And I'm like, ah. Uh... He's like, Fafanculo! Fuck you, man! Give me back my bees, man! You won't steal from me! And they're like, oh, please. Oh, you mean your one cent Mardi Gras bees? Oh, gladly. I, I, I was just mad because this guy thought he was slick. How bad of a salesman do you have to be 
to give your products away as gifts and then try and make me look like the asshole. So the next day, I see a different guy takes me through the same grift, same thing, and and I wanted to make sure of something. He gives me all these like, and I come back off and I was like, oh, oh, what's this guy about? And then he shows me, sure enough, the same fucking baby picture on his phone. I couldn't believe it. I felt like Alex Jones cracked the Matrix. I cracked the code! I gay frogs! So I saw this new GQ magazine cover with Pharrell. He's wearing like a, a dress with like peacock feathers or some shit. It's, it was a dress. And they call it New Masculinity. New Masculinity? Don't you mean feminine men? There's nothing wrong with it, you wear whatever the fuck you want, but call a spade a spade, huh? What's next? Uh, we used to agree on this basic shit. What's next? The bubble wrap is sharp? You wouldn't say a gas station restroom is clean. I know, I know, I'm such a dinosaur, hear me roar. I know you can just picture me holding women's heads under dishwater for even daring to make the distinction between uh, the age-old concepts of yin and yang. Sup, bitches, Jake Jones.